Hi and welcome back. In the last video we created the the frets and we created the dots for the note names here and I'm just gonna lower the opacity of those a little bit here so we can see what we're working with because in this video we're gonna add some fret marks and usually on guitars and basses you have a fret mark single fret marks on the third fifth seventh and ninth fret so here 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 and here and then when you get up to the 12th fret you usually have two fret marks so let's add the single fret marks first and in order to do that we need to go back to the HTML because we want to add a class to the the frets where we want the single fret mark so I'm gonna go only on the first string Let's scroll up here and I'm gonna go this is the zero one two three so this must be the one where I can add a class to that that's gonna be single fret mark and then that is fret number three then this must be fret number five i'm going to add one here as well single fret mark and this is number seven we should also have it on fret number nine here i think that makes sense okay let's save that it's not going to do anything, so we're going to go back to the styles and we're going to, we're going to add some styles so we can see those fret marks. Or call single fret mark. And I'm going to use the after pseudo element. And we already used, uh, as you can see, we have note fret is the name, is the class name of every single note fret here. Uh, and so we can only have two pseudo elements on the um, on each element so we already used the before element on note fret to display to display these uh, these uh, note marks and so I'm gonna have to use after on this one because we already used up before so I'm gonna set the content just to be empty and I'm gonna position it absolute absolutely gonna give it a height of 20 pixels and a width of the same and then we're gonna give it a border radius of 50% that's 40 that's not good that's better and let's give it a, a background some dark brown color six two three three and you can see they're actually showing up up here now we just have to, to place them in the middle and we know Right now we know that the fretboard is 300 pixels high. So we can go and just place them. I'm gonna say top. This is absolutely positioned. Uh, so I'm gonna go 150 pixels, which should be half of 300. And they go down here. But as you can see, we need to take them half the way up. So we're gonna use a transform for that. Transform, translate and just lift them up 50% of its own width. Save that and we have them basically in the middle here. So now it's beginning to look like a fretboard. Um, so that was pretty easy but we got to we got to add the the double fret marks as well on the 12th fret and that's going to be a little bit more difficult because we already used up as I talked about before we already used up the before and the after on the same element. So we can't just add another one to the 12th fret up here and call it uh, double fret mark and use before or after because we're already using before on this one and we're using after on this one so I only have there's only room to actually add one more but we need two dots so in order to do that we're gonna have to add uh, another div inside the 12th fret here we know this last one is the 12th fret so I'm just gonna open this up I'm gonna add another div and I'm gonna give that a class of double fret mark 
dubbla Fredmark. Double Fredmark. Yeah. Like this. And this is what we're going to target then. I'm going to save this. Go back to our styles. And now we have for for this one here. Now we can actually use the before and the after. So let's let's do that. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna do double fret mark. I don't know why I want to type out double double fret mark. Um, <laughs> before and it's need to give it a content. And that's going to be empty. And we got to position it absolute. And we're going to give that a, a height of 20 and a width of 20 as well. Pixels, that is. And a height of 20 pixels. And we're going to make it round, so I know I'm repeating myself here. I shouldn't do that. That's bad practice, but uh, nevertheless, I'm doing it. Yep. And we're going to give it the same background color, so I'm actually just going to steal this one here. And go like this. Uh, I'm going to clean this up later uh, and use some CSS variables so so we don't have all this repetitive CSS going on here. But that's going to be, uh, I think, in the next video. Let's just place it somewhere to see if we can see it. Top 10 pixels. Actually, maybe we can't see it at all here because... Yeah, we, we can see it. It's right here. Right here on the right. Um, cool. Just gonna copy this one just to get the other one. And I'm just gonna put 100 pixels here. Okay, so we see the first one because this should be after, of course. Okay, now we have two of them right here. Now we just have to position them in the middle and, and somewhere out here. And let me just do that manually first. So let's just add a transform to move them around a little bit, just like we did with the other fret marks. Transform, translate, and we want to 50%. So they're centered. So that, something happened there. But we want to move them down to the left a little bit more. So that should probably be, I think, something like this would work. Yeah, now we have them in the middle right here. Um, and let's add the same, just copy this one and put it down here. And then we should, let's think about it. It's 300 pixels wide. So if we put it like 75 pixels in, or maybe let's try 60 pixels in. Yeah. I want to see if I can get it like right under the string up here and let me just Set the opacity to zero here so it's easier to see. Um, let's say, where were we? 55, something like that. 56, 57, 58. Something like that. We're going to make some calculations later so this thing happens automatically. Um, and this one should be around 208 pixels then. So now you can see... The 12th fret has two fret marks right under each string. And as I said, we're going to add, we're going to add some math, uh, some calculations in the next video. So they will be placed automatically. No matter how high the fretboard is, no matter how many strings there are, we're going to add some uh, CSS variables in the next video. So join me for that.